Well, welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks since I recorded a video. The last video I recorded was my new adventure, kind of telling folks that I had in fact decided on another project. And so one of the questions that came up is a couple people have kind of asked me to kind of, I guess, explain what I did and some of the nuances thereof. So today's video is going to be about Hey, I got the new adventure. I've got about 350 miles on it now, so I think I've got enough ride time to make some initial thoughts and assessments. And in a nutshell, I am very, very pleased with this conversion. So the basics are basically, this is an ice adventure. It is a manual trike. Well, until I converted it. And it makes use of a uh, three chains and rings in the front. A 10-speed hub in the back, 20-inch tires in the front, and a 26-inch tire in the back. And that 26-inch tire in the back is on a suspension. So it's kind of their standard rear suspension. Oh, wow, some weird shadows there. Standard rear suspension system. And so when we look at an electric conversion, and the idea was I was trying to get away from the Shimano step system, which is fairly proprietary. And what that means in a nutshell is you don't really have many options on what you can change, if you can change it, which you can't, stuff like that. So instead, on this system, and we'll start here at the back, this is an electric hub. In this case, this is a Bethang G300 series basically 250 watt electric hub. I guess it can go up to a max of 700 in certain situations. I've never done that. And then what happens with that is basically that goes in instead of your normal rear hub. And then that is connected to a couple different components. The first component we'll kind of look at is this is the cycle analyzer. Now this is produced by Grin Technologies which is a company out of Vancouver, British Columbia. And basically this is a kind of the cycle computer, but boy on steroids, cause you get all sorts of information on that. And so at any time I can actually see how many Watts per mile I'm burning. I can see the temperature of that rear hub that sits back here, because I guess you don't want to get them too hot though. With my cycling in the winter, I don't think that's ever going to happen. That cycle analyzer then is connected to a couple two things. This one first, and this is basically the, the toggle switch for your assist levels and an on off button on the side. Over on this side, we have a throttle, which basically really you got to think about that turning it on and off. Now, in my case, I don't use a throttle as a gas pedal. I use it, basically, I've set it up through that cycle analyzer to be kind of a cruise control. So when I turn it on, I basically turn it on. It says, hey, do you want to go into cruise control? I say, yep, and it does. And then just I adjust power with that other toggle on the other side so I can have whatever power I need. Now, unlike the Shimano systems where there's really three levels, I've got 32 levels because that's how many you can put in there. So when I do a, a little, I need a little juice, there's a hill, I'm only adding 23 watts per push, not 150 or 300 or some crazy thing. And lastly, these components then basically go in and I just, I have this ice bag and inside here I have battery packs. And these are modular body or packs, if you want to call them that, because they are little batteries look like this. And that gives me 98 amp hours, which means it can fly. So FAA says 100 amp hours is where you can't bring them on on board anymore. Well, these are 98. So I basically sit there and say, well, how many batteries do I need? Well, right now inside there, I've got five of those batteries. And those five batteries basically give me just under 500 amp hours. 
uh, like 488 or some such thing. And because my cycle analyzer tells me how much I'm burning per mile, I can see like on today's ride, I'm averaging 8.7. So I can just take that 488 and I actually cut it down because, uh, you know, it's a balmy 33 degrees today. So I usually cut it down and say, well, I got about 450. And so I can tell exactly, basically how many miles I'm going to get almost, almost exactly. And that thing has been amazingly accurate. So with what we're doing today, oh, I guess I can go for about a 50 mile ride, maybe a little bit more. Not going to, because when you're cycling at these colder temperatures, eventually your body and your equipment says, you know, after a couple hours, you've probably done enough. So when we think about cost, because a lot of people, when they think about these conversions, it's a, it's a cost factor. And so the trike, I got a good deal. It's the fourth ice trike I've bought from the same dealer. This was actually one of his demonstrator models. And when it was all done and said, the trike cost me $4,500. I think new right now, they're, oh, well up into the almost 6,000 zones. So good deal there. And then you have to add the conversion kit. So I got these from Grin Technologies, again, in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. I buy all this stuff. It's all mine. That's just a good company to work with. And so basically what happens is you put in an order. And so I asked them to build me a 26-inch wheel with that Bafang 300 series rear hub there. Then I also ask for the little throttle the little toggle switch for assists, the cycle analyzer. Um, this time I only bought two of the batteries because I already had some because of a conversion I did with one of our traveling trikes. And then last but not least in there, inside there, and I didn't pull it out, there's actually a little motor controller and its job is to take the input from the battery, convert it to what the bike needs. And so when you get all those pieces, and in this case there's six pieces, Basically, you're looking at, in my case, a little over $1,200. So when I take that $4,500 plus that $1,200, I'm sitting at, what, $5,700? $5,700? A new ICE Adventure with the Shimano Step System on it, with this configuration, I believe right now is running you about $8,900. So... Tremendous savings, which is good because the pedal pushing wife kind of told me maybe this was my last project for this year. We'll have to see on that. And then, of course, there's the last factor of this because you can buy the trike, you can buy the, you know, the assist upgrade. But then there comes the installation. And I think this is the part where a lot of people, I guess they, they just don't know, do they want to do that? How much work is it? What's involved? And what I can tell you in my situation, the rear wheel with that hub, that's a matter of changing your, your wheel off your bike. So I took the old wheel off the trike, I moved the tire over, put the new wheel in the trike, step one's done. Step number two is really a matter of zip ties. And so I figured out where I'd put my cycle analyzer, that got zip tied down. I ran the wires, you know, with zip ties along the main frame to the various points where components are. That stuff was done. And then in my case, because I already had that ice side bag, it was just the perfect place to store batteries because, well, one, I ride in cold weather and I can actually insulate them in there. So I don't see a lot of degradation in terms of how well the batteries run and how long they'll run. I already had it, so that was really a matter of putting them in there and putting my little insulating concept around it and zipping the bag shut. And so whether people believe me or not, swapping this out, converting this over, really it was, oh, about 10 days to get from the order to the package arriving at my door. Then it was about May, I guess probably an hour to do all the work just because I just get that way with zip ties and I like things to look pretty and I don't like people to kind of see that it's happening. And so literally an hour after the box arrived at my door, the conversion had happened. 
the batteries already came at about 50% charge. Lithium batteries, you can go run them then. Of course, I had to. So I went out and did a little quick ride, and boy, it's been, been fun ever since. Well, I'm going to get riding again here, but boy, conclusions at this point, this conversion method of getting that electric assist certainly saved quite a bit of money. Second thing I notice in there that if I'm not using the assist, this trike actually behaves exactly like it did before I did the conversion. It's just a manual trike with a normal derailleur and gears and there's absolutely zero that I can tell drag based on having that hub back there, unlike the Shimano step system where there's, there's definitely a drag. Third thing I notice is, boy, it is quiet, 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 quiet. You really cannot tell that there's a motor back there doing anything because it just, you just don't hear it, unlike the other system, which I could hear quite a bit. And so, is the jury out? Am I ready to sell the other one? There's a real good chance that trike's going to go for sale somewhere. Although Alaska, as winter approaches and winter is here, might not be the best market for trying to sell a, a recumbent trike. But that's okay. There's space in the garage to store it for now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue my ride here. It's Wow, it's kind of a beautiful day today kind of unusual the temperature kind of broke through next thing you know it's above freezing and we'll take above freezing anytime just because there's enough freezing coming that boy if we can escape it for a little while that's what we'll do so as always boy if you have questions please 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 put comments down I noticed after my last video suddenly wow I had a little surge in subscribers which I guess surge in my world <laughs> means I got about 20, 25 more subscribers. So that was kind of nice to see. I guess the next goal there is 500 and I don't know, maybe, maybe you can tell some other people about this channel where there's this guy in Alaska that rides a recumbent trike and he does it all year long. So until the next video or until something down the, low, the line, like, subscribe, leave a comment, or mostly just just enjoy the journey with me. Thanks for coming along.